Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to make this butter for thicker, longer and healthier hair. So if you're interested, I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now this butter will keep your hair very nice and moisturized while also increasing its thickness, which are two important factors when it comes to retaining length and actually growing hair in general. So keep on watching guys so you don't miss out on all the information so you are going to need some fenugreek seeds so i'm using about a handful of fenugreek uh, seeds here now fenugreek is extremely amazing for higher growth because it's uh, it's quite high in vitamins like vitamins a k and c also it contains folic acid potassium calcium iron and protein which are essential nutrients for high growth also, it helps to promote a healthy scalp environment, which still contributes to uh, hair growth in general. So I popped that in that little container and I added some hot water to this. I'm going to allow it just to infuse for a little bit while I work on my next ingredients. So our next ingredient, guys, will be some shea butter. Now, shea butter is extremely moisturizing and also it's so full of vitamins and antioxidants that just help with maintaining your hair in pretty good condition. Um, but if you don't have shea butter, guys, is fine to use on any other butter it could be just mango butter just like what i have here or it could be just cocoa butter so yeah any other butter will be fine i love shea butter because of its amazingness for hair in general so i'm using also mango butter here but this is quite optional so you don't have to use both um if you don't have it if you have one or the other it will be absolutely fine but if you are to use only one of them guys make sure you increase the quantity a little bit now i'm gonna go in next here with some extra virgin olive oil now olive oil is generally quite good for high growth as well because of its amazingness when it comes to uh, being nutrient dense um so it really helps with keeping your hair nice and shiny also helps with stretching your hair i don't know if you guys have noticed it but i find out when i use olive oil on my hair it feels a bit more stretched out which is actually good because it just helps to reduce tangles and knots in your hair so i added the back that quantity guys i just eyeballed it but feel free to add more if you want to i would suggest that um if you are looking for a slightly sort of thicker consistency to this you don't want to add too much um olive oil but if you want a slightly runnier consistency then add a bit more olive oil but this is pretty much the quantity that i use i think that was maybe that was maybe about three to four tablespoons so i'm doing the double boiler method here um i'm not going to put this on the stove because i don't want to destroy any of the um nutrients in this um, this takes a bit of time to get done but it's definitely safer when it comes to retaining your nutrients so i just um pretty much pop that in this hot water and stir it in between until the whole thing melted and this is what it looks like um a few minutes later um so at this point we are pretty much good to go so i'm just going to take that off um the water and essentially just dispose of it then we're just going to move on to our next step which would be um sort of mixing the other ingredients that i have with my oil now i'm also using spirulina here um spirulina again is a very very good for hair because it's quite high in protein this is what would give you the thickness guys spirulina is made up for up to 70 percent protein uh, fatty acids and iron and these are all the nutrients that are needed to promote hair growth in general it also helps to treat hair loss and um facilitate hair renewal it also reduces oxi oxidative stress or imbalance between the free radicals and antioxidants in your body in general if you are using this internally because you can do that as well so i mix this with my fenugreek water to make a little paste and i'm just transferring it here into my oil um, so mix until it is sort of combined it's not going to combine well guys because as you probably know water and oil do not mix um so yeah but that's all of the consistency that i had after that i'm gonna go ahead and whip this uh using a hand mixer um just to allow it to combine a little bit better mm -hmm. 
after I whipped it for about two minutes, I popped it in my freezer um, for maybe about like 10 minutes. I wasn't really timing it, but you just need to check in between so that you don't have something that is just too thick. So this is what I ended up with, guys. You can see it's a lot thicker than what I had initially, but it's not frozen. So it's not like, you know, a block. Um, so you need to keep checking uh, regularly until you get that desired consistency. So you take that off the, the fridge or freezer uh, and then go ahead and sort of whip it again. Uh, until you have a slightly sort of thicker consistency um, to this now the one thing that i would say is if you are whipping for quite a long time you will end up with a very very thick consistency so if you're not looking for it to be too thick then don't whip for too long now i'm going to go in next year with my uh, preservative this one i got from a website called nescence i'm um, not sure if i'm pronouncing it right um, but yeah, I'm just using that essentially as a, a preservative. But if you want, you can use phenoxyethanol because that's what I normally use in my uh, DIYs. Or if you have any other type of uh, preservatives that you normally use, please feel free to use that. Um, but these are the ones that I have available essentially. You can also add essential oils to this, guys, if you want to. I didn't have any, so that's why I'm leaving it out. But essential oils also will be very, very uh, beneficial in this recipe. So you want to go ahead and whip again until everything is nice and combined. And I just love the texture of this. Like just editing this video, I was just loving how this was turning out literally like it's just so therapeutic watching it. I don't know, guys, let me know if you like watching stuff like this, but I just loved the texture and the consistency essentially so this is what i ended up with it was a bit thicker than what i wanted um but it's fine it was it was okay um bear in mind that it does thicken even more once it sits around um your house especially now that it's winter and it's a bit cold um it will get slightly uh, thicker so essentially if you're looking for something that is not as thick as this then don't whip uh, for as long as I did. So I'm just transferring it here into a little container um, so I can store and also um, I can use on my hair. Okay guys, so here you have it. It's pretty much done and ready. So you can just pop a lid on this and store or you could use immediately just like I'm doing here. Now stick with me guys for this part of the video because I will be sharing with you how I use it and how you can also use it in your hair regimen to help with hair growth or sort of hair maintenance in general. So yeah, definitely stick till the end of the video. Now if you made it to this point of the video and you're not yet subscribed please go ahead and click the subscribe button i would really really appreciate it now if you're watching and you're already subscribed thank you so much for your love and support like you're the best i really appreciate you as well um and also guys please thumbs up the video if you like it or if it's something that you think you can try definitely give me a thumbs up i would really appreciate that as well so okay essentially i'm using this butter as a pre-poo treatment um for my hair now as you're probably noticing my hair is quite dry um very very dry at this point and it is a wash day for me so i would normally start my wash day with a pre-poo type of treatment sometimes i just use oils uh, in the form of of an hot oil treatment um and then other times i use butters like this um, so essentially i'm just putting my hair here with one of my diy um uh, hair growth sprays uh, just to dampen the hair a little bit then i'm going next with my butter just making sure that every single bit of my hair is covered so including my roots my ends and pretty much like everything now you need to be quite generous if you are using this in this way um because essentially you want to make sure that every single strand of your hair is covered so 
um yeah you need to be a bit generous with it now spirulina is quite high in protein so if you're looking for thickness guys i would suggest that you stick to this particular one every time that you have to pre-poo because it will definitely give your hair that thickness that you're looking for and the oils essentially just help you retain the moisture in your hair after shampooing as you guys know shampooing does strip your hair of its natural oils and sometimes can leave your hair very dry depending on the type of shampoo that you're using um, but this one actually is very very moisturizing so it somewhat helps to counteract the effect of the shampoo um, so yeah that's basically how I'm using it here but I do also use it um, in my uh, regimen as um, sort of as part of my moisturizing routine so let's say if I'm sort of moisturizing my hair using like a leave-in conditioner or anything and I'm using a butter to seal in I would wish for this as well and I suggest that if you're looking for thickness in general that you use it a bit more regularly um, so you can use it as part of moisturizing routine but also as part of um, your whole sort of not whole sorry as part of your pre-poo um treatment now depending on how often you moisturize your hair guys twice a week for this would be absolutely fine but you probably don't need to use too much because remember it's a butter so it will leave your hair um it will weigh your hair down over time and leave a bit more deposits not deposits sort of uh, what's it called build up uh, on your scalp so you don't want to um use too much of it when you're using it as a mush as part of your moisturizing routine Now, I will not be showing you guys how I do my entire hair because otherwise the video will be very, very long. Uh, but I went ahead and did the other side of my hair off camera. And then this is it all done at this point. And that's pretty much how much of the butter that I use. So this is quite a good quantity which you can store for next time. So I went ahead and shampooed my hair after leaving it for about 30 minutes. And this is what my hair looks like. It felt really nice and soft, really clean. And I definitely loved it. So this is it for me today guys thank you so much for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next one thank you so much until next time guys bye